Really? Huh? You giving the camera eyes? No, yeah, yeah. Whatever. You know I like that one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 Hi Beast, what's going on? Jimmy Butler here. We're located in my closet, exactly. I'm gonna pull a couple pieces. We'll take a trip down and see some sneakers and then get fitted for the NBA playoffs coming soon. That's what we got. First one, this is where it all began for me right here. Uh, it has the year that I graduated, the number that I was in high school, tone ball. I was dating this girl. We went to dinner, but before we went out, she was like, boy, what the hell do you have on? And I was just like, what do you mean? Like, I'm, I'm cool, I like what I got on. She was like, no, that's not it. She actually picked out my clothes for the first time. That's when I really started to pay attention to it and really get involved in the whole thing. I kind of just wear what I like to wear and put it together how I like to put it together. Fashion became something that I really got into. And this one, you know, you got some red, some black, some gray compliments my skin tone if I do say so myself. I can't sing and I can't play the guitar, but if I want to, I can definitely play the part. You think of the music, I listen to country music and uh, you know, put these bad babies on. So we're down here. This is not everything that we have because at one point in time, I played in Chicago, so we have stuff there. One point in time, I played in Minnesota, have stuff there. We all know, or if y'all didn't know now, I'm rocking with PSG because of the best soccer player in the world, Neymar Jr. See that? That's my man sneaker right there. Neymar himself, the GOAT. My guys, uh, sneaker Mark. You know, the, the all green Wahlberg fours. I think everybody knows how highly I speak of Mark. He gifted me with these. I love him for that, that's my guy. But we can't skip over the Marquette threes. You know, sneakerheads could probably be like, man, look at him bending his shoes like that. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, you know, Marquette threes. Where me and D-Wade went to school growing up. I always wanted to just say, like, I got a pair of Jordans. Now to look in, in my houses and see that there's Jordans everywhere, my family, everybody never needs for tennis shoes or anything like that. It's great, I love it, man. I, I love what I do, um, but to be able to, to walk around in Jordans on a daily basis definitely, definitely makes it a little bit better. This here, is my stylist, who we love oh so much. Bring it in for a hug. Hey, Jimmy. Right. Back up, hey, back up, Jimmy. back up, back up. Today, uh, we're gonna go through some items that were pulled for Jimmy. You know, we like to feature certain designers, indie designers, black designers as well. So that's what we're gonna do today. Just jump right in and get fitted. I don't I really like love this. this. You, you do? You never like coats like this. I like this one. This, this type of coat that Melo be wearing, though. <laughs> it's like Carmelo Anthony. Sakaya? Sakai. Sakai. It's kind of like Sesakaya. It's kind of, but it's not. His style kind of pretty much matches his personality. Um, he pretty much will. What's up, looks... boy? <laughs> OK. This is dope. This one is nice. Uh, this one mm, is nice. Mm. And I have to deal with this all the time, too, by the way, everybody. The dancing? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, so let's try on four looks that I think that you should wear for the playoffs. Bruh, what, what is what is going on? You're yes. supposed to talk to me. I am, okay. Let's try on some, uh, like, four looks so that, you know, we can get some opinions going here of looks for the playoffs. <laughs> It's fashion. F A C H I N. <laughs> I, I like this look, Kalila. Without the jacket. But. Without the jacket. Yeah. Oh my damn. 